It's Ryan here, Spontaneous Creations. What I got tonight is a 10 by 20 canvas. Uh, I have a white base on it already because I don't wanna, want you to have to watch me do that. I am using Parage Posse paints. Now this is our new summer line, uh, Parage Posse. Lemon Lime Shimmer. I have high hopes for that, for this color, but not in this painting. I'm not gonna use that one tonight. Uh, again, Parage Posse, Beach Retreat Shimmer, uh, Silver Lake Metallic, and Coral Reef Metallic. I'm only going to use these three in this in this painting. What I have is a 3D printed toy. Now this is supposed to be translucent or uh, transparent filament. Filament is the plastic that is used in a 3D printer to print stuff. It, it It's not really that clear. But I had to try it. Anyway, so what we got is three tubes. Holes in the bottom of the tubes. We're going to take the, the toy, place it on a canvas with that's already been covered. So a base coat. And I did add silicone to her paints. She didn't add them to these. I did it myself. Um, I used treadmill uh, this stuff I can't think of. Spot on treadmill belt lubricant. And I put 10 drops in each one of these uh, containers. I think that's probably a little bit more than she usually does, but she, Christina Welsh. Christina Welsh is the one that makes the Parage Posse paints. Um, contact her through the Parage Posse Facebook group or her channel, Christine Welsh Art. Uh, all the information for buying the paints are there. She sells them in pre-mixed containers and she sells them in jars. Now this is a Deep Lagoon, Parage Posse. This is just the the pigments itself. Oh, that one's not open. Deep Lagoon. Okay. It's just the pigments by itself. This is That's why I have an, an open one. This is the same color. You mix this with your medium to come up with the colors. They're pretty good paints. I really dig them. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to put some blue in one of the chambers. Silver Lake. That's what the name of this is. Silver Lake Metallic. And then in another chamber, Coral Reef. It's easier to see how much paint you got in with these transparent uh, filament plastic there. And then the Beach Retreat. That's approximately the same in each, I'd say, ounce and a half, two, two ounces maybe. And with this, I don't have any gloves on. You see that? I haven't done, I got a little bit of white on my fingers. I better put some gloves on, just because. The thing uh, sealed pretty good to the camera, so none of that paint's leaked out of there yet. That's a good thing, I think. I wonder what these are. Can you see that on, on camera? I don't know these. There's a couple little flakes of something. I don't know what the heck it is. But. Okay, so here we go. Playing, letting some of this paint out.
Oh, I really like that coral. I mean, all these paints look pretty nice. All these new colors that she made. I didn't waste a whole heck of a lot of paint on that, but there's some paint in there. That I now have on my hand. Lucky I put on gloves. Anyway. I don't know about this, but we'll see what happens. Let's get a torch on it. Okay, I like the colors, but I don't like the painting. I don't like that toy. What to do, what to do. Well, let's see. That was some... Um, lemon lime this is some purple raspberry and let's throw some bubblegum shimmer on there these are all Parage Posse paints that I've got here what the heck let's let's do this let's do some military green too And since it's sitting here, do some Brian's Annoying Green. Maybe put a little bit more of the colors that were already on there on there. Okay. And we're going to go with white. So I bought some of these the other day. It's just a paper holder for a folder. Put paper in there, paper protector, I guess is what it's called. Anyway, I bought some of those. Might as well use it. Go with a bit of white here, about there, and about there. And I'm going to take this plastic and lay it right on there. All the way across. Now I feel as though if I had turned it, I could have got these better too, but. it over right down this side and we're gonna go down this side and 
that. And I made a big mess of that thing. Torch. Hold my breath because I don't think it's going to come out good. those corners with some more heat. So what I don't normally do is what I am going to do is I'm going to give it about 10 minutes and then then come back to it. See what happens. I'm going to put you guys on pause for a minute. About 10 minutes. Oh, that. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and played with it a little bit off camera. On accident, kind of. Um, I poured this down some and this down some. Just where it came over its edge. Um, I think I'm going to see if it... Well, first I'm going to hit it with a torch again. Because I want more to happen here than in here. So... going on here but maybe it's doing something there a little bit I don't want to hold that heat in one spot too much I don't know it's not terrible looking it's definitely not what I started doing huh I used to do that three tube thing with uh three PVC tubes with caps and holes in them and the first few of my did was were pretty amazing really but since then I haven't been able to get anything good and of course that was before I was filming so I don't know I like this I'm gonna keep it see what happens thanks for watching like share subscribe if you want to see more Weirdness. Thanks.